Hey, this is Jeremy from Shine Insurance, and I'm here today with Beth Ellis. So Beth is a broker owner with her dad of Tim Ellis Real Estate and Auctioneers. It's Realtors and Auctioneers, actually. Realtors? And Auctioneers. I said real estate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Realtors Close and enough. Auctioneers, cool. And you've been doing this for a while, right, Beth? Uh, 16 years. Okay, cool. So you got a little bit of information about what it means to work with a good realtor and what it means to work with a great client, right? Absolutely. Both sides of that are important. Yes. Okay, cool. And today um, we're going to talk about the three steps to picking the perfect realtor. Obviously, you want to work with a realtor that is the right match for you as a human being, you as a family, and that, that is going to help you to find your perfect home. And uh, Beth's going to explain to us three things that we should look for when trying to find that perfect match in a realtor, right? Right. Right. So the first thing that I think is super important is to ask people you know and you trust. So ask your family and your friends and your colleagues who they've worked with before, what the experience was like, if they would recommend the realtor that mm -hmm. they worked with before, because those are people that you already know and trust. Mm -hmm. And they're going to give you uh, recommendations of people that they already think are going to be a good match for you. And are there, like when you're talking with your mom or your friend or whatever, are there questions that you might want to ask that would help you to understand what that realtor is like? Or just kind of like, how did it work for you? Right. Well, I think how did it work for you is the best first question. But then I think you can talk a little bit more about the process. Mm -hmm. Things like how accessible was the Realtor? How clearly did they answer your questions? How much time did they take with you explaining how the process works? Mm -hmm. For a first time buyer, the, the process can be kind of daunting because they don't really know what the expectations are, what the process is. And so they need to find someone who is familiar working with first time buyers mm -hmm. and who uh, is really patient and a good explainer of the process. Yeah. So are there realtors that like to work with first time buyers and realtors that just don't? Uh, probably. Yeah. yeah, I think that's <laughs> okay. a fair question. Uh -huh. I like working with first time buyers. The thing that I like about it is it's new, it's fun, it's exciting, it's the biggest purchase they mm -hmm. probably will ever make. And when I see a first time buyer at the closing table getting their keys, it's pretty groovy. Absolutely. Uh, so that part of the process I really like. I think about when I bought my first house and mm -hmm. kind of how that went. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I like that kind of client a lot because it's a really happy experience. Yeah. So when someone's referring a realtor to you, the question, were you a first time home buyer when you worked with them may or may not be a valuable question to ask sure. ab about that realtor. Yeah. And a lot of people, I mean, we're a small town and I have lots of clients who I've done repeated deals with. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the referrals that I get are from my clients who I've done three, four or five transactions mm -hmm. with. Right. They may have been a first time buyer with me or not right. but I think just the fact that they keep coming back is a pretty good sign of the referral absolutely okay so the number one most important way to find the perfect realtor is definitely a referral right you know, find a referral if you if you live in the town and have for a while it's probably easy because you have family and things of that nature right um, are there ways to get a referral in a town that you maybe are moving to um, as opposed to one that you've lived in for a while the best way to find a realtor in a in a market where you're not familiar, where you're not living right mm -hmm. now, is to read online reviews. Mm -hmm. My clients review me a lot, and they are very clear and honest about what they say, what they think. They have, you know, if you go to Zillow and Truly and the big online third-party sites, buyers can look at those reviews. They can really dig down. They do a star program, but then they go back and they have a section where people can write whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And those are really helpful because I think that helps people get kind of the vibe of the person. So if the review says they answered all my questions and they were really great and they were accessible and I felt like I was taken good care of, that kind of gives you a sense of the person. Right. Absolutely. So they're going to be maybe good for a good first time home buyer because you know you're going to have questions. Right. And that kind of thing. Okay. So really your number two, I think we dug into it there, mm -hmm. was is, is online reviews. Would that be the second way to find uh, the perfect realtor for you? Right. Online reviews or the other thing that they could do if they're coming here for a job, if they're coming to IU or Crane or Cook or Bloomington hospital system whatever it is mm -hmm. they can also connect with those employers mm -hmm. like I work with a lot of the IU schools and departments where they connect me with their new hires well the new hires don't know me 
but the new hires know the people who are hiring them, and that's another good connection for out-of-town people. Okay, so if you're coming into a town for a job, most of the time we are in some way or another. If we're changing right. from one town to another, there's a reason we're doing so. Right. And so connecting with whoever's bringing you to that town and saying, hey, who are the great realtors to work with in the town? Exactly, because the employers are not going to send you to somebody who's, well, frankly, not very good because yeah. they want you to take the job and be happy here. Right. Okay, cool. So connecting with an employer, that's almost a, a third one here. I'm not sure what mm -hmm. number we're on, but we've got, you know, getting referrals, looking at online reviews, connecting with your employer and kind of get a, a referral from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so do you have others there? Uh, the best final step for making your decision is to actually meet with the realtor in person. Um, and I would recommend this for any new buyer to actually set up an appointment to meet with the realtor in person, talk through the process, see if you're compatible with your style, with your work schedules, uh, and see if it's a good fit. So I recommend that every new buyer sits down face to face for an hour with the realtor and make sure that it's a good fit. Okay, cool. Well, Beth, thank you so much for sharing those three different ways that we can find the perfect realtor for us. If someone wants to find you, how can they do so? Uh, the best way to find me is by email, and my email is beth at timellisrealtors.com. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video and you feel like you want to learn more about the new home buying process, we've got the perfect resource for you. The New Home Buyer's Guide is a nine-step course that walks you through the entire home buying process. We'll talk credit, realtors, finding your home, and so much more. The course includes a workbook to organize the process and a closed Facebook group to see how other buyers are dealing with the same bumps and bruises and celebrations that you are. Check it out at newhomebuyersguide.net. And finally, there are two things we need you to do right now. The first is to subscribe to our channel. We love to put out great information about home buying, insurance, and other financial stuff. The second, if you feel like great things are happening at this channel, please do share on your social networks. Until the next time, have a wonderful day.